Our top story today, the Mumbai Metro project seems to have received a shot in the arm courtesy the state government. After Reliance Infrastructure pulled out of phase two of the metro, state body MMRD has revealed that it will develop the project on its own. What prompted this move and does this mean that the long-delayed metro project is back on track? Nikhil Narayan Sivdas has the latest details. Mumbai is in desperate need of a modern mass transit system, yet its metro project is bogged down in delays. Here the new government has signaled fresh hope by pushing for a revival of the project, with the MMRDA indicating it will develop phase two of the project by itself. We had uh, earlier given that right to Reliance uh, under BOT model to develop uh, this metro line too. So we had terminated that particular concession agreement and now a decision has been taken by our authority last week itself that we should go ahead and do it on our own, on as we call EPC basis. The MMRDA claims the government is trying to enforce a speedy construction of the metro and move away from delays caused by the public-private partnership model. But that's just one side of it. Experts say the government may be using the EPC model due to a lack of interest shown by private players to the PPP model. Apart from delays, mass transit projects are inherently loss-making and do not give much incentives to private players. At least 25 different cities across India are considering having a metro, but approval problems and lack of financial viability have impacted metro operations in Kolkata, Hyderabad and Chennai, leading to inordinate delays. Unless they, these projects are completed and they start having revenues, they will not have enough cash liquidity. As a result, there is not too much of interest which is being shown by private sector in PPP project. This issue will get sorted out over a period of time, maybe next 6 to 12 months. Till then, government decided that uh, it should do more EPC projects so that at least the mm. investment is not stuck. So does this mean that the next stage of the metro will be on track? Experts say it's unlikely. While the government may have gained expertise in building phase one, the next phases have become more complex, requiring significantly more investments. That's a tall order and one which could be problematic regardless of which model is followed. There is no history of EPC being more time efficient than PPP. There is no history whatsoever. I think DMRC was a very specific case with very special powers given to the, to the MD of the company and uh, that individual could deliver. However, I think for metro rail, um, experience of viability, if you leave that part aside, um, I think PPP is, I, my vote is still in favor of PPP. Even the MMRD acknowledges that its decision to adopt the EPC model for phase two of the metro could change in the future. The government's view seems to be that we will follow EPC. That's why the, the, our authority headed by the Honorable Chief Minister has approved uh, both the metro projects line 2 and line 5 on uh, EPC basis. But if tomorrow when we approach the government of India and if the government of India feels that uh, a particular project has to be tried on PPP basis, we'll take a call accordingly. The new government seems determined to push ahead with long-delayed infra projects. But the big question here is, will the new model it's employing meet with the same problems as the previous one? Mumbaikers are sure hoping that it won't. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shivdas, NDTV.